All right, so we are met. <laughs> um, and uh, welcome. And the intention is to finish helping brother out by doing these workbook lessons. And we find ourselves um, at the section number nine, uh, beginning with lesson 301. Uh, however, we just joined and there's some other things that may occur. We'll see the spirit leads. And we'll begin Just so grateful that you guys are here. It's really grateful. So let's say that first. <laughs> so we're at that beautiful part of the section of the course. You know, we've gone through all of the undoing. <laughs> And we find ourselves where we're just really resting in God in these last, the latter parts of the, the workbook. Um, and right now we're at section number nine. So I'm going to read section number nine. And then I'll just uh, ask someone to read a few lessons and we'll see how it goes from there. So here we go. This is for our brother. <laughs> All right. This is section number nine. This is for you, Fran. <laughs> I'll highlight it <laughs> and underline. <laughs> this section is my safety lies in my defenses. <laughs> but I love the lesson that you taught us uh, last week or a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, I'm asking for help right now. Right now, I ain't got time. So anyway, it's been highlighted when I didn't know that. Now I know it. So let's be really in the moment and answer the call right now. So. All right, so here it is, and it's beautiful. Section number nine. What is the second coming? Christ's second coming, which is sure as God. <laughs> is merely the correction of mistakes and the return of sanity. It is a part of the condition that restores the never lost and reestablishes what is forever and forever true. It is the invitation to God's word to take illusions place the willingness to let forgiveness rest upon all things without exception and without reserve. It is the all-inclusive nature of Christ's second coming that permits it to embrace the world and hold you safe within its gentle advent, <laughs> which encompasses all living things with you. There is no end to the release the second coming brings as God's creation must be limitless. Forgiveness lights the second coming's way because it shines on everything as one and thus is oneness recognized at last. The second coming ends the lessons that the Holy Spirit teaches, making way for the last judgment in which learning ends in one last summary that will extend beyond itself and reaches up to God. The second coming is the time in which all minds are given to the hands of Christ 
to be returned to spirit in the name of true creation and the will of God. Oh, this is good news. <laughs> I'm crying. The second coming is the one event in time which time itself cannot affect. For everyone who ever came to die or yet will come or who is present now is equally released from what he made in this equality is Christ restored as one identity in which the sons of God acknowledge that they are all one and God <laughs> the father smiles upon his son his one creation and his only joy. Pray that the second coming will be soon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me say that again. Pray that the second coming will be soon. But do not rest with that. <laughs> I'm gonna say it one more time. Pray that the second coming will be soon, but do not rest with that. It needs your eyes and ears and hands and feet. It needs your voice. And most of all, it needs your willingness. <laughs> oh, let us rejoice that we can do God's will and join together in its holy light. Behold, the Son of God is one in us, and we can reach our Father's love through him. <laughs> That's the second coming. What is the second coming? <laughs> Friend, <laughs> you feel to read a couple, please? Thank you. And God himself shall wipe away all tears. Father, unless I judge, I cannot weep, nor can I suffer pain or feel I'm abandoned and unneeded in the world. This is my home because I judge it not. And therefore, is it only what you will? Let me today behold it uncondemned. Through happy eyes, forgiveness has released from all distortion. Let me see your world instead of mine. And all the tears I shed will be forgotten. For their source is God. And Father, I will not judge your world today. I will not judge your world today. God's world is happy. Those who look on it 
can only add their joy to it. and bless it as a cause of further joy in them. We wept because we did not understand, but we have learned the world we saw was false. And we will look upon God's world today. And God himself shall wipe away all tears. Where darkness was, I look upon the light. Father, our eyes are opening at last. Your holy world awaits us as our sight is finally restored and we can see. We thought we suffered, but we had forgot the son whom you created. Now we see that darkness is our own imagining and light is there for us to look upon. Now we see that darkness is our own imagining, our own imagining and light is there for us to look upon. Christ's vision changes darkness into light. For fear must disappear when love has come. Let me forgive your holy world today that I may look upon its holiness and understand It but reflects my own. Our love awaits us as we go to him and walks beside us, showing us the way. <laughs> he feels in nothing. <laughs> He, the end we seek, and he, the means by which we come to him. Thank you, Fran. He fails in nothing. <laughs> oh. Hmm. He the end we seek and he the means. Oh, the means. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. He the end we seek and he the means by which we go to him. Thank you. Hmm. I forgot to say this. This is important. <laughs> For anyone that's doing these lessons, make sure that you only do one. <laughs> We're doing 10. But also make sure you revisit what this section is about, which is good news. And that's what is the second coming. So before doing the lessons daily, just go back, revisit what is the second coming in addition to reading this lesson. That's the direction that was given from the master teacher. Let's let him be right about that. <laughs> All right, um, Barry, I'm feeling you so strong since you entered the room, brother. <laughs> Could you read a couple? You entered the room like oh, yeah. quiet. You don't usually enter the room in stealth mode, but you did. Don't know. <laughs> so
So well, I was I was aware that last time I I seemed to take up a lot of the time. I looked back at the transcript thing, you know, and uh, mm. I thought, wow, I was uh, I was noisy, you know. We were talking away there. Mm. But, uh, I wonder who would care anyway. about that. <laughs> who would yeah. care about last, any of that? <laughs> last time, you mean? Last time, yeah. Yeah. When yeah. we don't heal alone, Barry, that was for all of us. You just yeah. stepped in front. I got so much out of that. Everybody, that it's. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It took up. No, I, I get. The time I get that. Meant. Yeah. It's not a personal thing. It's about, yeah, it's mm. about everyone. But I get that. How do you get that? Yeah. Just watch how that looks <sighs> around. Now I should feel guilty <laughs> about that. <laughs> now I should feel guilty <laughs> about my awakening. <laughs> mm, anyway, yeah, I'd love yeah. to hear you read a few. Thank you, brother. Okay, so we're on uh, three. three. Mm. I heard that Christ is born in me today. Uh, Holy Christ is born in me today. Watch with me, angels, watch with me today. Let all God's holy thoughts surround me and be still with me while heaven's son is born. Let earthly sounds be quiet and the sights to which I am accustomed disappear. Let Christ be welcomed where he is at home and let him Hear the sounds he understands and sees, but sights that show his father's love. Let him no longer be a stranger here, for he is born again in me today. Let him no longer be a stranger here, for he is born again in me today. Your son is welcome, Father. He has come to save me from the evil self I made. He is the self that you have given me. He is but what I really am in truth. He is the son you love above all things. Myself as you created me. Not Christ that can be crucified. Safe in your arms, let me receive your son. Barry, could you do me a favor? Hmm. Could you read that prayer again? From the beginning? Uh, your son is welcome, Father. Prayer. Your son is welcome. Father. Thank you. <laughs> come come to save me from the evil self I made. That's massive. Yeah, it is. Here's the self that you've given me. He is but what I really am in truth. The son you love above all things. Mm. Myself as you created me. It's not Christ that can be crucified safe in your arms. <laughs> Let me receive your son. Mm. He is the son you love above. <laughs> he is myself as you created me. Mm. It is not yes. Christ can be crucified. And was it last week or the week before? I don't know which lesson that says the about to view oneself with charity and love. <laughs> Just reminds me of that one. That one's mm -hmm. been in my mind ever since that conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, very relates to it. Mm hmm Isn't that funny? Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
So, let not my world obscure the sight of Christ. I can obscure my holy sight if I intrude my world upon it. Mm. I can obscure my holy sight if I intrude my world upon it. Nor can I behold the holy sights Christ looks upon unless it is his vision that I use. Perception is a mirror, not a fact. <laughs> what I look on is a... Yeah, that's it, right? <laughs> <laughs> totally, yeah. Mm. Perception is a mirror, not a fact. Mm. Perception is a mirror, not a fact. What I look on is a state of mind reflected outward. I bless the world by looking on it through the eyes of Christ, and I would look upon the certain signs that all my sins have been forgiven me. You lead me from the darkness to the light, sin to holiness. Let me forgive and thus receive salvation for the world. It is your gift, my Father, given me to offer to your Holy Son that he may find again the memory of you and of your Son as you created him. But I know you feel, I heard you say, you feel some sort of way, <laughs> the amount of time that was with you last. <laughs> you know, when but more than anything, this... I would love for you to read this again. <laughs> I just would love to spend some more time with you. Oh. Well, when we say these things, it's because, you know, if it kind of has a, a a meaning, it's because there is a sense of that. And sometimes it's just in a single sentence in amongst it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So read the whole thing. I can obscure my holy sight if I intrude my world upon it. I can obscure my holy sight if I intrude my world upon it. And read the title, though, for me. Read that title. Let not my world obscure the sight of Christ. Mm. I can obscure my holy sight if I intrude mm -hmm. my world upon it. Nor can I behold the holy sights Christ looks upon unless it is his vision that I use. Perception is a mirror, not a fact. What I look on is a state of mind, is my state of mind reflected outward. Oh, bless the world by looking on it through the eyes of Christ, and I look upon the certain signs that all my sins have been forgiven me. Mm. You lead me from the darkness to the light, from sin to holiness. Let me forgive and thus receive salvation for the world. It is your gift. My Father, given me to offer to your Holy Son that he may find again the memory of you and of your Son as you created him. It is your gift. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Burn it dead. <laughs> What's this? I just rewatched uh, last week yesterday, mm. and uh, 
Oh, Mary. Uh, you know your story when you were saying that you uh, you were about to go up on the uh, the escalator, I believe, and that was that moment. Hmm. And she was just scared, and you went to have it for her, and you turned around and you gave her the the thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> and then brother saying that that was you. Holy shit! I was like. Oh, God. Such a simple thing, Bernadette, eh? I don't know. That's exactly what it is. It's like, it's so simple. It's like... Yeah. And then you stop that you just read. It's actually a mirror, not a fact. Yeah. <laughs> and what I look on is my state of mind reflected by God. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Oh. Well, thank you, Bernadette. That's really, I appreciate that. Because that was something that, you know, yeah. Yeah, that was very powerful that last week that I rewatched. I was like, oh my goodness, your, your visit to London and going into that story and, and you being so just a villain. Mm, mm. <laughs> just a villain, you know, and just be willing for something other than what you normally do or say yes to. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just allowing, just allowing something else to occur. Yeah. Yeah, that was really, really powerful. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for that, guys. That was really, really good. <laughs> Yeah, well, he was feeling some sort of way about time. <laughs> huh, who would who would feel that way? But Bernadette, yeah. like you said, I mean, and that's what it's saying at the beginning of this. I mean, I love how at the beginning and what is the, sick, the second coming, he talks about all the things he needs, and it seems to be the things in form. But then it says, and the most of all, what I need is your willingness. Most of all, how many times over and over again does he say it just it's just your willingness. That's it. Just be willing. Just be willing. And Barry, that's what you showed us last week. Yes. You demonstrated last week. So it's with so much gratitude. Dave says uh yes, wow, thank you. That was his mm -hmm. thing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that just being willing? <laughs> Isn't that just yes. being willing? <laughs> <laughs> Willing for anything, I guess, not just to show up, but for everything reflecting back yeah. and understanding, you know. Yeah, what did he just say? I can't find it now. Perception is not a fact. Yes. It's, a re it's reflected back to you. you. See exactly where you are. It's just a reflection in your mind. Now, willingness. Ah, oh, something happened this t today, and I was nervous to, to say something. And, um, I just had to, I didn't want to defend myself, but I needed to just say what needed to be said in the moment. That's what it felt like. And I just confessed that I was just so afraid of, of getting a correction or what the reflection was going to be back to me, but I'm willing to see it, whatever it's going to be. It can only be helpful because it's only the activity of God, right? Yeah. So it can only be helpful. Yeah. But to bury these things, to bury our lights under these bushels, and hide out, Fran, you were saying at the beginning, you know, hiding out and just, you know, just it, it, let it go, let it out, be willing, be willing to be freaking corrected if necessary. I'm only going to get the reflection, my only doubt, only my own doubt thoughts are going to come back and show me where I am. And that's the activity of God, if I'm willing. That's how much we're loved. That's how much we're loved. God's not gone. God's not gone. God is right here. Right here. I can't see it because I'm afraid. I'm, you know, projecting out what's not true. I'm looking through a glass darkly. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> you can read? Can you read? 
and the Holy Spirit has the Windex. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. It's a mirror, not a picture, it is. All right, love, can you do 305? <laughs> Doug, I've not forgotten you. <laughs> I'm not forgetting you. There is a peace that Christ bestows on us. Who uses what Christ's vision finds a peace so deep and quiet? undisturbable and wholly changeless that the world contains no counterpart. Comparisons are still before this peace. And all the world departs in silence as this peace envelops it. And gently carries it to truth. No more to be the home of fear. For love has come and healed the world by giving it Christ peace. Father, the peace of Christ is given us because it is your will that we will be saved. Help us today but to accept your gift and judge it not. For it has come to us to save us from our judgment on ourselves. Amen. You want me to read? I do, but I, I don't know. Do you want to read that prayer again? Oh, just that line, there is a peace that Christ bestows on us. There's a peace Christ bestows, bestows on us. And then that prayer, if you don't, if you could for me. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Father, the peace of Christ is given us because it is your will that we be saved. Help us today but to accept your gift and judge it not. For it has come to us to save us from our judgment on ourselves. Oh, isn't that so powerful? I mean, uh, help us. <laughs> To accept your gift. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I can't even accept it. I, I know. need help to just I accept know. the gift. And not judge it. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Mm. Oh.
Great it says. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh. The gift of Christ is all I seek today. <laughs> What but Christ's vision would I use today when it can offer me the day in which I see a world so like to heaven that an ancient memory returns to me? Today, I can forget the world I made. Today, I can go past all fear and be restored to love and holiness and peace. Today I can redeem I can redeemed and born anew into the world of mercy and or care of loving kindness and the peace of God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> and so our father we return to you remembering Remember, we never went away. <laughs> Remembering your whole gift to us. In gratitude and thankfulness, we come with empty hands and open heart and mind asking but what you give. We cannot make an offering sufficient for you, Father. <laughs> but in your love, give some Christ in it. <laughs> it's such good news. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Guys, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I want to hear that one part again, though. No. <laughs> Can you read in gratitude? <laughs> Can you do that for me? <laughs> in the prayer mm. <laughs> oh with gratitude and thankfulness we come with empty heads and open hearts and minds 
asking but what you give. <laughs> you don't make uh. an offering sufficient for your son. <laughs> Mm. But you love <laughs> the gift of Christ. <laughs> Girl, please, come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> in gratitude and thankfulness, we come with empty yeah. hands and open hearts. <laughs> mm. Mm. Only wanting what you have to give me. Wow, it's so good. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> so good. Mm. <clears throat> I used to hate this part of the. <laughs> I used to hate this part. And the part. way I feel right now, and the way I feel right now, I I wanna play this, and I wanna go back to three or four. And it says perception is a mirror, not a fact. And what I look on in my state of mind reflects outward. And when I look at you guys, I cannot describe. I cannot describe. I cannot describe. Mm. Your willingness. Mm. I remember brother saying to you, oh, vision that lesson I had us do it over and over again vision is my greatest need vision <laughs> christ's vision is yeah. my greatest need otherwise i'm just seeing bodies seeing bodies i'm making judgments it's beautiful Thank you. Hmm. Oh. Thank you, Bernadette. Ah. Hey, Doug. Oh. How are you doing, brother? Good. <laughs> you read a few? Mm. Conflicting wishes cannot be my will. Father, your will is mine, and only that. There is no other will for me to have. Let me not try to make another will. for it is senseless and will cause me pain. Your will alone can bring me happiness and only yours exists. If I would have what only you can give I must accept your will for me and enter into peace 
where conflict is impossible. Your son is one with you in being and in will. Your son is one with you in being and in will and nothing contradicts the holy truth that I remain as you created me. That I remain as you created me. And nothing contradicts the holy truth that I remain as you created me. And with this prayer, we enter silently into a state where conflict cannot come because we join our holy will with God's in recognition that they are but one. Conflicting wishes cannot be my will. This instant is the only time there is. This instant is the only time there is. I have conceived in time in such a way that I defeat my aim. If I elect to teach, past time to timelessness. I must change my perception of what time is for. Time's purpose cannot be to keep the past and future one. The only interval in which I can be saved from time is now. The only interval in which I can be saved from time is now, is now. This is the only time now to be saved. There is nothing else. This is the time, this is the instant. This is the time we give it up. We give all these illusions up to be healed. This is it. This is the only time right now. For in this instant, his forgiveness comes to me to set me free. The birth of Christ is now without a past or a future. The birth of Christ is right now. The birth of Christ is now without a past, without a future. This is the birth of Christ now, right now. Right now, this instant is the birth the birth of Christ, the birth of creation as you, the creator, you, the creator. It's right now. This is it. He has come to give his present blessing to the world, restoring it 
to timelessness and love. He's come to give his present healing to the world. Restoring it to timelessness, to timelessness and love. Restoring it, restoring it to timelessness. Restoring us to timelessness and love. He's come right now to give that to us. And love is ever present here and now. Love is ever present right here, right now. Love is ever present. It's ever present, ever present, right here, right now. Don't miss it. It's here, right now. It's ever present, always present. It never goes away, never goes anywhere. It's here, right now. Oh. Thanks for this instant, Father. Thanks for this instant. It is now I am redeemed. It is now I am redeemed. It's now. Right now, I am redeemed. Oh. This instant is the time you've appointed for your son's release and for the salvation of the world in him. <laughs> wow, this time. <laughs> this instant is the time you have appointed for your son's release. This time. This time is the time you've appointed for your son's release. This is the time. And for the salvation of the world in him. And for the salvation of the world in him. The salvation of the world. <sighs> Brother, your heart is so generous. So, isn't it perfect how the lessons is to go to who they need to go to? You and I were speaking about this this morning. You and I, seemingly, huh? And I, um, in that conversation, Paul saying, "This is for you. <laughs> right. Healing is for you. Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> so I would love you got so much energy you just want to give it all away I would love for you to receive this for yourself yeah could you read the whole thing just the way Jesus has written this yeah. For you. Yeah. yeah. You got so much and you're just giving it all away. You're just giving it all away. Just receive it right now. Okay, brother. This instant is the only time there is. I've conceived of time in such a way but I defeat my aim. <laughs> I'll to reach past time to timelessness. I must change my perception of what time is for. Time's purpose cannot be to keep the past and future one. The only interval in which I can be saved from time is now. Mm. For in this instant, his forgiveness comes 
to set me free. The birth of Christ is now, not a past or future. He has come to give his present blessing to the world, restoring it to timelessness and love. And love is ever present here and now. <laughs> Thank you for this instant, Father. It is now I am redeemed. This instant is the time you've appointed for your son's release and for salvation of the world in him. You need to receive that? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Do one more. I will not fear within today. <laughs> Within me is eternal innocence because it is God's will that it be there forever and forever. I, his son, whose will is limitless as his own can will no change in this. For to deny my father's will is to deny my own. To look within is but to find my will as God created it and as it is. I fear to look within because I think I made another will which is not true and made it real. Yet, it has no effects. Within me is the holiness of God. Within me is the memory of him. The step I take today, my father, is my sure release from idle dreams of sin. Your altar stands serene and undefiled. Mm. It is the holy altar to myself. And there I find my true identity. Oh. Mm. 
<laughs> Will not fear to look into the step I take today, my father, is my sure release. Dreams of sin. Your altar is serene and undefiled. It is a holy altar to myself. But may I find my identity. <sighs> Jesus is truth. <laughs> mm. I'll read this last one. I'll read the last one. Thank you, brother. <laughs> In fearlessness and love, I spend today. This day, my father, would I spend with you. <laughs> As you have chosen all my days should be. And what I will experience is not of time at all the joy that comes to me is not of days nor hours for it comes from heaven to your son this day will be your sweet reminder to remember you your gracious calling to your holy son the sign your grace has come to me and that it is your will I be set free today. Hmm. We spend this day together, you and I, <laughs> and all the world joins with us in our song of thankfulness and joy to him who gave salvation to us and who set us free. We are restored to peace and holiness. I'm sorry. There is no room <laughs> in us for fear today. For we have welcomed love into our hearts. There is no room in us for fear today. <laughs> for we have welcomed love into our hearts. Mm. Oh, in fearlessness and love I spend today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. It's all it's all uh, right here, right now today, isn't it? Mm. That's yeah. all those lessons. Right here, right. <laughs> 
butt now. Where else you gonna find yourself? <laughs> <laughs>